So I put in a, a few figures into here. So basically a, a typical uh, layout crew will have two people on it, um, a 40-hour work week. Uh, average cost per person, I just kind of threw in $50 in here to, to uh, have an example. And 100 points uh, per day is probably a, a pretty accurate number for a traditional tape measure layout crew. Uh, for points per floor at 1,500 points, that, seem, that may seem a little high, but when you start calculating all the concrete points, your edge ankle points, your grid intersections, and interior and exterior layout points, uh, you can add up to 1,500 individual points that you'd need to lay out on a project very quickly. So the nice thing about the, uh, the Trimble Robotic Tool Station is that uh, you've got the layout form and at the point of installation, so you actually see the job site conditions along with the latest background files and model, model information, and then you can pass that information back and forth to the office all wirelessly. With the traditional mechanical total station, you still have to have two people on, on the layout crew. So you have, a, lay, you have a, a guy behind the gun, you have a rod man, and you still have a noisy job site out there. And it's, sometimes it's very difficult to communicate either through, uh, either through your uh, cell phones or through handheld radios. So this saves a tremendous amount of time and a tremendous amount of uh, energy and, and uh, issues. So you can see just on a regular project here, um, the robotic total station could pay itself off within one project. Uh, we, we've typically seen a doubling in production. Uh, 500 points per week for a typical tape measure crew is, is pretty productive. Um, and even with tr tr traditional total stations, when I was laying out uh, interior, interior walls and door frames and so forth and curbling your hospitals, we were really happy if we got 200 points or, or more a day. Now with the robotic total stations, we're able to get over 400 points in a day with one man uh, instead of uh, 200 points a day with a, with a two-man crew. So you can see over one year, you're going to save some significant, significant costs and time on the project, let alone over our five-year uh, time frame for your return on investment. So here are a few, a few numbers that I put together on the Westminster project. We're actually uh, tracking the expenditures and uh, capturing some of the metrics associated with the robotic total station layout. With the traditional method, we would have typically used at least two carpenters. What I figured was a uh, full-time journeyman carpenter with an apprentice as their, their rod man or uh, the person holding the, uh, we call it the dumb end of the tape. Uh, but for, uh, uh, for about four months, uh, those two people would be full-time and we figured about Forty-four, almost forty-five thousand uh, dollars. In the same time frame, we had a layout foreman who was a little bit higher, higher rate, but uh, full-time one man. We're down to twenty, twenty-five thousand um, dollars. Layout and equipment accessories. Uh, figured just a couple of grand in there for rental and, and purchasing some items. With the RTS, uh, typically a lot of contractors will rent their equipment back to themselves on a job basis. So what I figured here was approximately $2,700 a month for four months, plus some accessories as well. Um, we've also done some studies that uh, have found average small issues on a project cost about $2,500 a piece. So that, it may sound pretty excessive, but when you start to think about all the, uh, the time that goes into finding a small issue, so you end up having uh, foreman, superintendent finding issues, then you have the project manager that takes the time to do all the paperwork, and they have to pass that to engineers or architects or designers, they get an answer back, then post all that information to their drawings, and then they're actually uh, in charge of managing that change out in the field. So for an example, if we had anchor bolts that were off by half an inch, and all we really needed to do was slot the base plate of a steel column uh, by half an inch to, to get everything to fit. You still have to get the permission from the engineer record, so we still have to go through that entire process. And by the time you get done with all the management, the paperwork, and, and posting all the drawings, you end up uh, uh, over $2,500 pretty easy, let alone on a big issue uh, such as if you misplaced a critical embed or you peer, or the peer cap or a foundation too high or too low, or if you installed a, a door blackout or an opening in a, in a core wall in the wrong location. 
that needs to cost $25,000 in lost time and uh, correction costs. So even if you end up laying out uh, everything perfectly with the traditional method, uh, we still break out, break out about even with the robotic total station, and you still wouldn't have a record of measurement as well. Um, so some of the things that we I didn't include in this was on the Trimble project, we actually paid a surveyor to do all the curb and gutter uh, utility and some other miscellaneous layout. So there was another $30,000 that with a sophisticated team you would be able to capture in-house. Um, also with the traditional method, you don't have a QA or a QC engineer included in there or a BIM specialist handling some of the 3D or 2D models. And of course, if you did have issues, that wouldn't account for any of the delays in the schedules or the general conditions that you incur. Um, now with a robotic total station, you do have some software purchases. You will have a learning, a learning and a training curve. And uh, something I try to emphasize with a lot of contractors is that uh, uh, you want to have a backup person, somebody else that's trained on that total station in case uh, your main layout person gets hit by a truck or gets sick. Or as a death in the family, you want to make sure you have uh, somebody else to take over the reins. <clears throat> 